Hello friends, this video on states of matter part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. The next force is the dipole-dipole force. So, as the name suggests, this dipole force acts between molecules that have permanent dipole. For example, HCl, if you see, HCl has a permanent dipole. It's not a non-polar, it's a polar molecule. Where chlorine has a slight negative charge, hydrogen has a slight positive charge because the chlorine is more electronegative. So in this case, if you see, there's a permanently slight negative charge here, permanently slight positive charge. So there's a permanent force between these two, right? And that's why it is called dipole-dipole because both the dipole are permanent. Dipole-dipole because both the, both the dipoles are permanent. So if you see, both this dipole with this partial charge and that is the reason why we have this force. One thing also to note that this partial charge is always less than the unit electronic charge. One elect unit electronic charge, you know, is nothing but 1.6 into the minus 9, 19 coulomb. This partial charge is always less than this and that's why we use a special symbol to denote this. Right? And this force is stronger than London force but it is weaker than ion-ion interaction because if you see Na plus Cl minus interaction kind of thing here if you see this is a full charge full charge, full positive, full negative charge, right? but in this case I'm talking about the partial positive, partial negative charge and that's why these kind of force is stronger than London force because they are all temporary force and uh, they exist, they don't exist, they are temporary force but these are weak, stronger than London force because actually they are at least permanent but they are weaker than ion ion interaction because only partial charge is involved in this dipole dipole force. But in case of the ion ion force, full charge is involved. Right? And this attractive force decreases with the increase of the distance between the dipoles. That's quite obvious because since the distance is more. The partial charge will be less right partial charge is less less is my force dipole dipole force so in this case the interaction energy varies for the stationary and uh, uh, I think rotating polar, polar molecules we we'll explain that so in the interaction energy for the stationary uh, polar molecule is proportional to 1 by r cube while for the case of rotating polar molecule it is proportional to 1 by r6 so i don't have a proof for this but i just assume this is correct because scientists have proven this in using the lab result that the interaction energy between the stationary polar molecules is proportional to 1 by r cube but for rotating polar molecules it is proportional to 1 by r6 We'll take uh, this hydrogen bond as I told hydrogen bond is nothing but a special type of dipole dipole force right so a hydrogen bond is found only in these three combinations please note hydrogen bonds are found only in these three combinations NH OH or HH only in these three type of combination we get hydrogen bonds not in other in fact HCl also we don't have hydrogen bond we'll take a question we'll explain why we don't have a hydrogen bond in HCl so please note, hydrogen bonds are found only in these uh, bonds, which is highly polarized, highly polar, right? So they are limited to nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. And energy of hydrogen bond varies from 10 to 100 kilojoules, and this is actually huge energy, and that's why hydrogen bond is something special, and we are studying it because. Since the energy is huge, it's a huge power, it's a huge power to determine the structure and property of many compound. And if you see, we have uh, shown this hydrogen, same, it's a similar dipole dipole force. I have HF, since uh, fluorine is electronegative, it will get a slight negative charge, hydrogen get, will get slight positive charge. Similarly, in this case, and there will be an attraction between the positive and negative. And that's a uh, kind of dipole dipole force. But since it is very strong for nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, we give a special name for hydrogen bond. And please note, when I call hydrogen bond, it is not a bond, it is not a bond, it is nothing but force. 
please note hydrogen bond is not a bond it is force actually is a dipole dipole force correct because there is no bond see when you talk about covalent bond you talk about the actual transfer of electron right when you talk about ion ionic bond sorry when you talk about covalent bond you talk about the sharing of electron and we talk about ionic bond you talk about transfer of electron but in this case there is no sharing of electron and there is no transfer of electron right transfer or sharing of electron is not there it is not there it is not a bond actually it's nothing but force it's a force it's a force between slightly positive and slightly negative atom of two different molecules correct yeah the i asked the question why chlorine doesn't make hydrogen bond so the answer is pretty simple see chlorine is a large molecule and the magnitude of attraction decreases right because the strength of hydrogen bond depends on electronegativity as well as size of molecule since chlorine is very large the attraction is less see the reason that i told why we study hydrogen bond is because hydrogen bond is a pretty strong force pretty strong force right and it is such a strong force the energy is very high but in case of hcl since the chlorine is very big and hydrogen is small the energy is less right the attraction is less the attraction is less and the charge which it may get is less not that high not that high right this slightly positive side not that high is very less since it is less uh, the force will not be that be that strong and the energy will not that will not be that high so it won't be comparable to the hydrogen bond energy we have seen so that's why chlorine doesn't make hydrogen bond chlorine do make dipole dipole force but not hydrogen bond because for hydrogen bond we told it is a special bond where the energy strength is very high but for hcl so the chlorine is big the strength is not not the great so hydrogen bond you can say is like i'll say hydrogen bond is nothing but topper of uh, dipole dipole force actually so what they have done is they have they have so many dipole dipole force but they took only top 3 <coughs> right dipole you can assume dipole dipole force is the whole class and top 3 are your no hydrogen bond you, you can call them super bonds the bond of the class similarly here also now right? Di dipole dipole force there can be so many uh, molecules that has dipole dipole force the only top 3 are hydrogen bond because they are really really strong thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again